Ashland police are training up a new officer for the department, K-9 Aquila. He's part of a program repurposing throwaway dogs and donating them to law enforcement around the country. KETV News 17's Sarah Feely introduces us to the team and the trainers. They actually said dogs know people are coming before you actually know a person's coming like towards you because they can scent it with their nose. And this dog is putting his nose to work. Yes, boy. This dog came from a vendor out in Virginia. It's called Throwaway Dogs. They uh, donate dogs to police departments that need them. Ashland Police Chief Ryan Brady wanted to incorporate a canine for drug interdiction on Highway 6. The department knows the state patrol has I-80 covered, but some traffickers avoid it. Highway 6, um, I think there's a lot of tra you know drug trafficking that goes on there. It's right next to the interstate. We're between Omaha and Lincoln. Um, there's obviously a lot of drugs going between there. They don't want to take the interstate. Past canines have found 150 pounds of marijuana and two pounds of cocaine on the stretch, as well as other drugs. But canines can be costly and training equally so. So they applied to throw away dogs. We've gone on to not only you repurpose shelter dogs, but we are also able to have dogs donated to us from vendors and trainers. The nonprofit has several trainers that specialize in certain aspects of canine work. When a failed dog arrives, they're evaluated to find their strengths like drug interdiction, tracking, apprehension, or explosives. Then they go through rigorous training. Mark Fisher trained Aquila. He was donated by a vendor who thought he wasn't right for police work. I put basic obedience work into him and through my work with him, I have faith that he had the drive and would be able to work as a police canine. Throwaway Dogs gives the canines to departments who make it through their strict application process and then provide training for the teams. These training seminars are free of charge to the departments and they have access to some of the best trainers in the country at no cost to their department. Officer Stankowski spent some of the spring in Virginia working with Aquila, then a month certifying him in Nebraska. The dog had three odors on it. I put a fourth odor on it, which is marijuana. Um, I did that in camp. They're now a month into working the streets as a team. A second chance for Aquila. He is a great dog. And a safer Ashland. It's been worth it, yeah. It's been worth it. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.